Hello there. My name is Alatino, and I've decided to go over the recent Dragons Version 2 update of Dragon Adventures, a Roblox game by Sonar Studios. So let's dive right into it. One of the most noticeable changes is the way the dragons move. Now, dragons can do cool tricks. Witness its power. You can also now make flying look really nice by moving the controls in your own epic style. Here's an example. So this is what me flying on a Makora normally looks like. And this is what flying on a Makora looks like when I start messing around with the controls a little bit more. Another thing changed is now whenever you knock into something, you basically stop flying. So like if I fly into this, I just stop flying and I fall to the ground. A minor problem I've seen is you can literally crash into one of these banners in the Undercity, but then not crash into a different one, flying through it like it's a hologram. So, see I can fly through that. Uh, well, let's see if I can figure out. See, look. It's very confusing, because the top of it, you can knock into it and fall, but the rest of it, you can literally just fly through. Dragons now have a boost button, or whatever it's called, in place of running. This is the little button with the lightning bolt on it, and when you press it, this happens. Basically just speeds you up for like a split second. You can also do that when in the air. So yeah, there you go. Dragons will either walk or run depending on how far you move the joystick, at least on mobile devices. So that's a walk. See, I'm barely moving it. And then that is just full blown run. You slowly move it until it's a walk. A fun little thing you can do with multiple dragons equipped is roar as a group. If you press the roar button with multiple dragons equipped, the other dragons you have equipped will roar back. Dragons now stay sat down when you are moving around them unless you move out of range, in which they will follow you until close enough, then after a couple seconds, sit right back down. Baby dragons can now fly on their own, and it's so adorable. Look at him! So cute! Flightless dragons now jump properly, something that really needed to be fixed. Dragons of all ages can have accessories now. So that's something really cool. I mean, look at how cute this is! It's a baby dragon with a hat. It's adorable. Also, the dragon level requirement for selling and trading has been removed. So for auctioning, the dragons don't have to be level 5 anymore. They just have to be juvenile to be auctioned. And in trading, there isn't a level or age requirement. And what about the stats? Anything changed there? Yep, dragon stats have changed around a whole bunch. A great example is that mother dragons are no longer the strongest dragons. Chronicus are, which makes a whole lot more sense. Well, pharaoh rexes are still very good for farming, so still keep that in mind. Now, let's talk about audio updates. First of all, the sounds dragons make while moving have been changed and have also been synced to the dragons way better than how it used to be. When equipped, dragons make a little noise. The sound baby dragons make are absolutely precious.
Ah, so cute! Mob drops have changed too, with Prehistoric having the best drops. But I'm not going to waste a bunch of time fighting mobs from every single world. So just look that up on your own time, I guess. Uh, and that's all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.